During this tutorial, I'll be introducing you to a single application of Adobe Photoshop's Layer Mask. I'm not going to explain everything about Layer Mask, but show you a simple day-to-day -day operation that will help you create effective blending between objects on layers. A lot of people like to use the Erase tool to remove pixels from a layer. Personally, I never use this tool. It takes away the control of what I delete. With the Erase tool, whatever you erase is gone for good, unless you refer to the History palette. The method I'm about to show you will do the same as the Erase tool, but with one excellent difference. You'll be able to reintroduce deleted pixels at any point, as easily as it is to delete them. This will give you plenty of control. I'm going to achieve this by using a layer mask. Now I'm going to start by opening up two images. The first one is my background shot. The second contains an object that I previously selected around for this tutorial using the polygonal lasso. As you can see I've uh, been pretty loose with my selection and I've done this deliberately so that we can show the real advantages of using layer mask. Right, I'm going to start by clicking on the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layer palette and you can see automatically a little white box has appeared next to that layer and I'm going to choose the brush tool from the tool palette and ensuring that I have black as my primary paint colour and I'm going to click on the flip there what I'm going to do with my brush tool I'm just going to paint over the area that I want to remove and I'm just going to boost up the opacity a little and there we go can see something interesting happening. As I paint with black as my primary paint colour, you can see that the pixels underneath my brush as I apply are simply disappearing. They're becoming invisible. They're being masked out. I've got great control because I can change the size of my brush. You see that I've just gone wrong. If I flip to white, here we go, the pixels simply return. So there we go, black removes, white brings back. I have to ensure that I change the size of my brush to accommodate different softnesses around the edges. Here I'm going to use a large brush for a really gradual blend. I use the parenthesis keys, they're the keys next to the enter key on my keyboard, the brackets keys, to change the size of my brush. This is a very quick, simple way of doing so. Right, now I'm going to add a shadow just for effect. This isn't quite for the uh, same tutorial. See there, I've just created a new layer beneath my object layer, my polar bear layer, and I'm just going to take the brush tool, changing the size with the parentheses keys, I'm just going to paint a shadow using black as my primary colour. Nothing to do with layer masks, I've changed the colour there to make it softer. And now I'm just going to change the opacity and also the layers blending mode. There, it's not the best shadow but it'll do for now. Right, once you've finished, if you want to discard your layer mask, all you need to do is just click on the layer mask thumb and drag it into the bin. You get this dialog box. You can either apply the effect, or you can cancel, which means of course come out of that, or you can discard it, you can get rid of it completely. Now I'm going to apply everything I've done so far because I feel that that's just how I want it. And there we go. It's gone back to a normal layer. Now. I would like to add a few special effects to this. Again, nothing to do with layer masks, but just to complete this tutorial, I'm going to choose blending options on the layer palette, and I'm going to choose overlay, change that to the background color by taking my cursor outside and clicking on the background, and then I'll change the blending mode choose this one and then just adapt the opacity a little just to blend and there we go 
as I said, it's not absolutely perfect, but I think you'll agree, something which was so quick and easy to do, it's not bad. Please do find more tutorials at shortviewscreative.co.uk. Thank you for watching.